of the Mummy. Resting in peace for over 3,000 years, rudely awakened from the sleep of the dead. Now he's back, and he's not a happy camper. Ah! Curse of the Mummy! These were the Pharaoh's last words. Let no man dare depict my wretched face at any time, in any form, or the wrath of Nezabin shall fall upon him and annihilate him. I, the mighty Nezabin, have spoken. And that is why absolutely no cameras will be allowed in this exhibit. All because of some silly mummy's last words? Get real. And remember, class, your team projects are due on Monday. So, for those of you who have been putting them off all week, you're running out of time. Do you hear that, Archie? She's talking about procrastinators like you. What do you mean, Betty? I haven't been procrastinating. Oh, yes, you have. Every day this week, you've put off our project until tomorrow. And now you've tomorrowed us all the way to the weekend. Gee, Betty, things just keep coming up. You mean like digging for ants? Huh? Hey, not just any ants. We were looking for evidence of alien ants living amongst our earthling ants. Only I just got stung, which I think is evidence that earth ants don't like it when you dig up their hills. Alien ants? I was just trying to find something for my latest weird mystery column. Anything, even alien insects. Look, Archie, I don't care why you've been putting off our project. I just don't want to wait until the last minute and have to be working all day Sunday to finish on time. I promise I won't put it off anymore. Good, so are you free this afternoon? Sorry, Betty. Archie and I have a date with a mummy. A mummy? It's a new mummy exhibit at the Riverdale Museum. I'm hoping to find a weird mystery column in it. So when are we going to do our project? No, no, let me guess. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Thanks for understanding, Betty. So, Arch, what kind of weird mystery do you think you'll get from this old mummy exhibit? Well, think about it, Jughead. Mummies are creepy, right? No fooling. And I figure any mummy worth his weight in bandages has got to have a curse, right? I'm no archaeologist, but it sounds good to me. So if we've got ourselves a creepy 3,000-year-old curse visiting Riverdale... Huh? <laughs> I want to be the first to report on it. Sounds better than alien ants. I can't believe the tickets were sold out. Well, you know how people are. Always wanting to be first to see the 3,000-year-old curse visiting their cow. I guess it is opening day of the exhibit and all. Oh. Look on the bright side. This gives you free time today to work on your project with Benny. Nah, we already plan to do that tomorrow, on Saturday. It can wait till then. Andrew's residence. 
Archikins. Who's your favorite person in the whole world? Veronica? That's right. Do you know why? Uh, no. Why? Well, gee, Archie, you should already have a very long list of reasons. Can't you think of something? Uh, sorry. I, uh... Never mind. I'll give you a reason. This is Professor Osiris. He's the museum curator who arranged the mummy exhibit. Good afternoon. Oh. Ah. And this is Archie Andrews, the friend I was telling you about. A pleasure to meet you, sir. Gee, thanks, Ronnie. How'd you swing this? Daddy's chairman of the museum board. He practically lives there. Miss Lodge here tells me you want to do an article on the Pharaoh King Nezer Bean for your school paper. King Nezer Bean? Our visiting mummy. That was his name, you know. No, I didn't. What else can you tell me? Why, son, I can tell you everything. And that's why the pharaohs believe their tombs would bring them eternal life after death. Fascinating stuff, eh, Ronnie? What? what? Oh, uh, uh, yes, fascinating. You sure know a lot about King Nezer Bean. Were there ever any rumors about his tomb being cursed? <laughs> this is no monster movie. There's no such thing as curses. Oh. Although the pharaoh was haunted by tragedy, and you could say he cursed himself for his foolishness. Yeah? You see, Nezer Bean had a great love in his life, Queen Betatiti. Well, she should have been his queen. What do you mean, should have been? The two were to be wed, but Nezer Bean was a procrastinator and kept putting off the wedding. Tomorrow, he'd tell her. Always tomorrow. You see, the king did not want to marry until he finished building the tomb that would house them in the eternal tomorrow. But Betititi grew tired of waiting for him and eventually left. Hmm. He's lucky she stayed around as long as she did. <gasps> yes, and without Betititi, I guess you could say the broken-hearted Nezabine was cursed to spend all of his tomorrows alone. Gosh, poor guy. You'd never put me off like that, now would you, Archikins? Well, of course not, Veronica. I... <gasps> Betty! I totally forgot we're supposed to do our project today. Well, now, son, there's more to the story. Gee, thanks for your time, Professor, but I've got to run. for you all day. I know. I'm sorry, and... And let me guess, tomorrow? No, no, Betty, right now. <sighs> We're still eating dinner, but I'll tell you what. The library is open late tonight for the book fair. I'll meet you at the library study room in half an hour. Whatever you say. Oh, and Archie? Huh? No more procrastinating. I promise. The museum's on the way to the library. I've got a little free time before Betty's done with dinner. Oh, no, you don't, Archie Andrews. You go straight to the library and start working on your project. Aw, oh, come on. The museum's right here. Don't you want to get some pictures of that mummy for your article? No more procrastinating. You promised Betty and... <clears throat> you promised Betty that you'd meet her at the library. And you will. But first... You gonna sit at this intersection all night? Oh, hey, Jughead. I just got lost in thought. Yeah, me too. But then again, I'm out for my evening think. Tonight, I'm thinking about culinary mysteries like what fried first, the chicken or the egg? And just exactly how do they get that non-stick surface to stick to the pan? Sounds deep, Einstein. You want a lift? Sure. Where are we going? I'm, a. Uh... Well, I'm meeting Betty at the library. But first, I thought I'd swing by the museum and get a quick look at that mummy. Lead on. Two for the Pharaoh King exhibit. Sorry, no can do. What? It can't be sold out. There's nobody here. 
That's because we're closing. Please, can I just take a quick look? I'm here with the school paper. Look, I just sell tickets, but let's say I didn't see you go in. If you cleared out before security locks up, you'd have time for a quick peek. Just make sure it's quick. We should probably just come back tomorrow and... Shh! Okay, come on. I don't think this is a good idea. It's just a few snapshots and we'll be gone. They're not even locking the place up yet. Himself. I wonder why the face on the lid is all scratched up. Maybe it says here. Eh, let's see. Do not touch mummy. Do not take pictures. Do not take pictures. Oops, too late now. Um, can we go now? You've got to open it first. I can't. What? Oh, no. You mean we're, we're locked, locked inside. inside? Oh, great. Hello? Hello? Is anybody here? Hello? <laughs> we're locked inside. Do you know what this means? It's time to break out the spare. No, it means if we don't get out of here quick, Betty's gonna kill me. You carry a spare burger? It never hurts to be prepared. Say, did you just hear something? Sounds like your tummy talking, but don't sweat it. I also pack a spare spare. It's for me, Smithers. I've got it. Oh, Ronnie, thank goodness you answered. Something's after me. Something... Ah! Ah! Help me! Help! Are you quite finished? Ah! Ah! I had you for a minute there. Come on, admit it. <sighs> Boys. Hello. Yes, one moment. Mr. Archie Andrews on the phone for you, Miss Lodge. Thank you, Smither. You know, Archie, after the way you rushed out of here today, you're lucky I'm even taking your calls. I know. I'm sorry. Yes, I'm really sorry. Veronica, I can't tell you how sorry I am. All right. I accept your apology. Now, if you don't mind, Reggie and I are going to watch a DVD. Ah. You take care, Archikins. No, 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 wait! Don't hang up! You mean you didn't just call to apologize? Uh-huh. You're where? You you want me to what? Well, you said your father's chairman of the museum board, so I figured he's got to have a key to the museum, right? Ooh, Archie Andrews. Daddy's right about you. You are trouble. We'll be down shortly. Oh, thank you, Veronica. I owe you big time. Big, big, big time. We'll see you soon. your mommy. The, the, the mummy! It's... it's alive! Hurry, Veronica, help! Help! Ah! <sighs> Boys, you're all the same. Huh? Oh, never mind. Come on. Is it 
still behind us? <laughs> Keep running! Say, I've got a really weird mystery for you. What the heck's going on? I don't know, Jughead, but this is one mystery I sure wish I'd never stumbled onto. Whoa! <gasps> Come on! king of yours gets around pretty good considering his age. This is all my fault. Now that you mention it, I was doing okay until you dragged me to this tomb of doom. Oh, I was so stupid. If I hadn't been procrastinating, we'd never even be here. I never should have put off the library. Archie? Archie! They must be inside somewhere. You wait at the door and make sure it doesn't close. Um, why? Because Daddy says the electronic locking mechanism is on the fritz and can't be unlocked from the inside. Oh. Great! Now we're going to have to call Daddy. He is not going to be pleased. Archie! Yo, Jughead! Where are you clowns? Huh? Gee, what happened here? Huh? <gasps> I smell a prank, and it's getting stinkier with every step he takes. <gasps> oh, please. Archie, did you drag me all the way down here for this? I give you points for effort, Archie, but the joke's gone far enough. Veronica, Reggie, huh? run! Look out! If Archie and Jughead are over there... Then who's the mummy? Did you see that? It walked right past them. It only wants us! Here. How did this happen, Archie? What did you do? Who cares? Just go do it over there. I don't know, Veronica. We just snuck in to look at the mummy, and the next thing we knew, it was alive. And cranky. You should have seen the way it just smashed Archie's camera like it was tinfoil. Camera? Wait a minute. Did you take pictures? Well, sure, I... Let me see. Here, here. What? Why? I could be wrong, but maybe... Huh? Maybe what? Well, after you ran out this afternoon, the professor went on to tell the rest of Nezarbeen's story. Remember how Betatiti left him for putting her off so long? Apparently, the pharaoh was so upset with himself that he never wanted to see himself again because it just reminded him of how lonely he was without her. He destroyed all the mirrors in the place, smashed all the statues that had been made of him. Had his face scratched off of his sarcophagus. So maybe there is a curse after all. Maybe it's the pictures. Maybe he's come back to life because he wants me to destroy my pictures. <gasps> come on, 
Nebuchadnezzar being? Look! Look! <laughs> Hurry, Archie! Hurry! That's it! Oh, no! Now what? But that's all of them! I don't have any more! Stupid rope! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I... <gasps> there! 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 Ah! <gasps> huh? It was that simple. I had found another weird mystery, and thanks to Veronica, I solved it in the nick of time. We had a lot of explaining to do in the morning, but fortunately, Ronnie's allowance was enough to cover the damage. Betty had finished her part of the assignment that night without me, and I was left to finish my half of the work alone. After Bettatiti, er, uh, I mean, after Betty heard what I had been through, she knew I wouldn't be putting things off anymore. I didn't want to be like King Nezerbean, always miserable for stupidly procrastinating. And maybe the Pharaoh can rest easier now, knowing that someone learned from his mistakes, even 3,000 years after the fact in a little town called Riverdale.